to 2022 with just ending it. We've been a bit quiet, but I'm gonna. We spent four weeks on Palubi Beach, and unfortunately, we did not do too much recording there because we just we met so many great people, and we just spent time with such, such good people that yeah, we got a little bit astray with the recording. <laughs> recording. So, but I did do some filming of. Blueby, some streaky, uh, um, um, some awesome little um, lookout points. I'm going to roll on a little bit of a, a long clip of the footage I do have of um, Blueby and streaky of a time there. such a good crowd um, some new some old it was just awesome and um, most of the people that I've uh, we met on Palubi are doing the same thing we're all waiting for WA yes. so hoping for WA to open on the 5th of February so we're just hanging around I think it's the, the 4th or 5th I'm not sure I think it's the 5th they say it might be by now to the 15th <laughs> but we're watching the news I'm really hoping fingers crossed it's the third time we're trying to get into WA you can still so hear my voice how much fun I had on Palooza. You had way too much fun. I and fishing. Way too much fun. It was just bloody good. Fishing, great. swimming, oh. bonfires, beers. We've had a lot of questions. Sweat. We've had a lot of questions in regards to the conditions of the beach. Is it easy? Guys, it's pretty compact. If you, when you arrive on Palubi, there's some of these little shacks that you can stay at, which over the festive season, the locals try and if you're going to stay for a night or two, it's fine, but they tend to use them for functions. Um, New, for Year's Day, New Year's Day, New Year's Day sports day was fantastic, and people couldn't actually camp at the shacks because they turned that whole place into. It was just awesome. Get also, we're mixing with the locals was just as good. Um, but when you go a bit further down the beach, just be careful. Like when you back up the van onto the sand and go as high as you can. Um, you reverse all the way, get your van as high as possible because the tides can be quite high. Um, and all you got to do is just four-wheel drive, four drive low and just get a bit of momentum. I wouldn't say like speed backwards, but a fair good momentum good and just give it and just go back. So just wanted to say that in case any one of those people are watching this video. That's what I would suggest you do. So we're on our way this morning to oh. our next spot, which is actually a little bit inland. We're hoping to get away from the wind oh, I'm so for one or two nights. Um, one thing about the Hair Palencia is epic, but it is super uber windy. Um, so away from the wind for one or two nights and just exploring the area while we wait for the water to open. That's it, yeah. So
Well guys, we've arrived at our camp and it is, I hope I pronounce this properly, Poldapa Rock. Just outside the Gawler uh, Ranges National Park. So we pulled up, we picked this great spot here, check this out. And if you haven't seen this, apparently this is like the Wave Rock over in WA. And I haven't been there yet because we can't get there, but hopefully we can get there soon. But yeah guys, it's pretty pretty level spot here there we are there we have it set up haven't taken the uh, car off just as yet oh the flies so if it's not the wind it's the flies if it's not the sand it's the flies just can't seem to get it right but we pulled up here for a night I don't know maybe two but I believe the Gawler National Gawler Rangers National Park is something to go and see so over the course of the day I'm going to unhitch the van level it out nicely Sue's inside working we've got the cell fire go on and I must say without the cell fire go we wouldn't have internet here so we've popped it up we've turned it on and the signal is full 4G when I've put it on so do they work don't they work well it seems to be working here so I can say they do work so anyway but yeah just a simple setup guys I'm gonna do a little bit of editing today and uh, we're waiting for another couple that we met on Paluby to possibly join us here getting about a bit later um, I don't know if I'll, I'll see if, what time they get here maybe I'll go into the, uh, the, the, the National Park with them or I'll just go in by myself uh, maybe later on this evening when Sue's finished work as well because the sun here only goes down at like 9 30 10 o'clock so it gives you that nice evening to sort of go in and, and, and explore the area well guys after a awesome day just settling in here so we had a massive day at work. We didn't get too much done in terms of exploring, but we're here for another day tomorrow. Um, but we've got to cook tea. But before we cook tea, you know, you've got to have a couple of cans. What do you got going there, dear? I'm just making a cucumber avo tomato feta salad with some balsamic vinegar. There you go. Maybe some onion. And what have you been, what have you had going in the oven for the last three Crispy. hours? Crispy baked potatoes. Crispy baked potatoes, and I am gonna grab what we got. A couple of porkies. We'll spice it up in a sec. We'll get that in the pan. It's um, it's just too windy outside, and I tell you what, as nice as this place is, the flies. What do you think of the flies, dear? They are plentiful. Hey. Eh? Plentiful. You can't even sit outside, they're getting everywhere, the, the little ones. You know, we just can't seem to find it where it's perfect, eh? Hey? If anyone knows a spot in Australia that has no wind, no, no flies, flies, and good hot weather. Good hot weather, no stingers, no crocodiles, and no snakes. Yeah, drop the comment in below. Let us know, because we're going to head there. But anyway, let's spice these chops up, let's throw them in the pan and um, which shouldn't take too long so the potatoes are already ready and then um, we're going to tuck into some tucker and uh, climb into bed it's already gone just past 10 a couple of beers we've got another couple that's joined us um i'll i'll um lee and katie the one roads. roads yeah i'll um get them to say a little something on camera tomorrow introduce themselves so um yeah let's get this done let's put some food in the belly let's climb into bed and uh, we'll catch you in the morning. See ya. Well, good morning. New day, that means new adventures. So, we um, woke up a bit late this morning, but that's fine. Uh, we're heading into the Gawler, National, the Gawler Rangers National Park. I'm not sure. I think it's about 20k to get to the beginning of it. So, we're going to head there, and then hopefully there's a big board which normally the national parks are pretty good at where it'll give us a map and things to do and um, Lee, Katie and the kids they're in the own car and we're just going to go for a drive and explore a bit today weather conditions are a bit overcast it's a pity because yesterday was actually a pretty nice sunny day but let's see maybe that'll lift and uh, we can get some good views but yeah super excited to see this it's not very um, I don't know if it's uh, the right word is to say well known but I haven't seen too much um, on the Gawler Rangers National Park so I'm pretty keen to go check it out 
Um, don't have too much time. They do rec recommend that we uh, that you go and camp in there, but obviously we can't. So I'm just going to go in and see what we can find and see what we can explore, something different. Um, yeah, super keen. Well, peeps, here we are. Eventually, we found the entrance to Gawler Rangers. It was a bit of a bit of a muck about, but we've managed to come in. So we've come in on the Yardy Road entrance, and uh, we've just come. It's about 30. 2k from the little town um manapi i think it's called don't quote me i'll put a little link in and um this is what you come to so you got all huge information and what's so good about this um thing is it actually tells you on a little map that we found hang on it's in the car what you want to see the, the the condition like it's two-wheel drive four-wheel drive and um if there's a little hike it actually tells you the distance and you can actually pick up oh i'll just pick that up anyways park guide is here next to the information i recommend grabbing one and like like for instance we, we're gonna go to what, which one are we got organ pipes walk trail now it says organ pipe walk trail is only 800 meters so that's how the distance of the walk. So that's quite cool if you've got kids or um, yeah, you're worried about how fast something is. And also it tells you the grade of the walk. So we also want to go to a place called Scrubby Peak Summit Lookout. It's a, it's a grade five walk and it's two kilometers. Now I don't know if that's return or one way, but we're going to check it out. Um, I am with Lee and Katie and the kids, so we're just going to be mindful of that. But um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do everything, but Come on, let's jump in. Let's go to the um, organ pipes and see what that's all about. First stop. Well, we've just arrived here at the organ pipes. So when you come in, take a first left 10 kilometers down the road. The road reckons four wheel drive, you could, I reckon you can get a pushy along the road, it's so smooth. But anyway, what we got here, we got toilets, we got a little picnic area, some parking, and um, yeah, 800 meter walk, I reckon. Hello Zara, we're going for a walk. Let's go. See how it is folks, when you arrive, the walking trail, it actually looks like, you know, they keep the walking trail so nice and clean and level and so it's not like heavy on your feet but if i've got to be honest i'm not wearing the correct uh shoes for walking so we have see how we go i didn't bring shoes with that at all um yeah i'll show you here guys like i said like about this it actually tells you all gone pipes hike it's a grade three, 800, oh, it's 800 return. It's about 45 minutes. We're up over here. Looks like you walk across this creek up to the organ pass. I don't reckon there'll be water in there. There's a bit of information around the, the place. So this is what it sort of looks like. So pretty keen to go and have a look. Well, let's do it. Well, uh, when you're coming through the uh, to the organ pipes, I would suggest wearing shoes. I think I've done something a little bit silly. As I've actually climbed up from down there. Uh, the GoPro doesn't show you how steep it is. But coming up with thongs on is easy, but going back down with thongs, it's going to be a challenge. But I think it was well worth it. Check this out. This is absolutely incredible. They're all over. It looks like these big concrete pylons. Let me swing this around. Like, how weird is that? So here's one of these pinnacles that like look like concrete things, but then obviously not. That's fallen from somewhere with a whole heap of water, I reckon. Because um, I thought I could get into this where the water runs, but it doesn't look like, you know, you've got for a bit of a challenge, but I just don't have the walking shoes on, but that's where it comes down from. 
obviously, you know, one of them have fallen off the side here, or look at that, you can see what I mean. Where it all comes down, and you can see where the water comes from, but yeah, great little spot to come check out. But we're gonna head back. It's a bit of a walk, a bit of a challenge, but it's okay. Back to the car. Well, that was absolutely epic, but I have to go back to pick up Sue. She's got to go into the little town. Struggling with the internet out here. The, the cell phone goes, is working, but when she has video conference calls and there's more than five people, you know, you really need a good, or well, what I think you really need a good signal to be able to you have that many people. But anyway, I've had to go back. I've only managed to do one. Well, guys, when I got back to the van, Sue actually managed to work with the internet, so I didn't have to go into town to take her. So I've come all the way back from um, the National Park, and to be honest, we don't think we're going to stay another night because the internet's a little bit like, like this for Sue, and it's about 45 minutes trek back to the National Park. So unfortunately, I only got the one activity in, but if you're ever around the area and you can camp inside of the park, I'd suggest doing that because then that way you can you can get to see everything, but we can't with Sophie. So, and if you have a dog and you're traveling, come and stay here at this rock and it's a 45 minute drive to the start of the Gawler Ranges and then there's, you know, the map like I showed you and you can go off and you can do a few things. So unfortunately that's it, but we got one more thing to do here, which we haven't done yet. And that is... The Rock Summit. The Rock Summit. So. This is the way up apparently. Lee and the Kate and the kids have done it. And you sort of walk up, 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 up to the top. And I do believe it is super windy up there. So we're gonna give it a crack. It's not the best sunset around, but we're going tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna go up and, I don't know, have a look ourselves. I'm going to the summit. Sue's already on her way up. Here we go, up we go. I'm doing this barefoot by the way. Oh, it's already starting to get windy, eh, love? We are at the top. Little bit windy. It is windy, so if we're shouting, just to make sure you guys can hear us. But look at this. What a spectacular huh? view. We walked up, it's an easy walk, and you can see behind us, like there's plenty of room. And I tell you what, if it rained up here for a couple of days, these little pools would fill it with water. It would be superb. And I reckon that, oh geez, it's knocking me in. The old GoPro's almost flying out of my hand. I wonder what bloody um, Mount Everest would be like, but hey. But guys, what a spot. Honestly, you've got to come check this out as well. Dump toilet down the bottom. There's two ways you can get up. You come here, you find yourself a spot, spend the night. It's not as windy down the bottom. But we're going to head back now because it is absolutely blown in guts. But look at this. Wow. travel early in the morning? Well, when you work full time, you either travel early morning or you travel in the afternoon evening. So... All weekends. We, all weekends, yep. Yeah. We are heading back to the coast, but it's overcast. Um, it is what it is, but 
the flowers at the at that rock is just unbelievable. It's just next level, isn't it? I don't think I've ever been anywhere in Australia that had as many flowers. But um, we haven't done Western Australia yet. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we're heading back now. You might find that we we're going back to some some places we've already shared with you, and um, that's not by choice. We're just basically hanging around for uh, the WA border, hopefully for the fourth, fifth of Feb. So. I booked the car in for in Port Lincoln for a service next Friday, so a week's time. Today's Friday, and um, we're just literally going back. and I think we're going to make uh, Walker's Rocks again, but we're going to stay a couple of days this time. Uh, Lee and Katie haven't been there either, so they're going to come and join us a bit later on today because well they're not working, so they can uh, wait for the kids, sort the kids out, jump in the car and head down that way. Um, I don't even know where we are. We've just traveled on about a 30k unsealed road and that's another thing I like about this setup of ours like it's not a problem like we're just if a GPS takes us on a on a, on a shorter shorter road and it's unsealed well we don't have to really worry about it too much which um, I'm enjoying it the most about it but anyway I don't know Walker's Rocks I think we've got about an hour's drive left and uh, we might get there a bit early so we might have to wait for some maybe some people to leave we're not sure so yeah I'm pretty excited, it's weekend for Sue, so she can get to explore the area as well, which is pretty cool. Well, after some hours waiting in the car park, we got here, it was pretty full. We've managed to get ourselves this little ripper spot. Check this out. Hey, just parked around the big tree. And look at this, beach access right over here. Haven't been up there yet, literally just unhitched. Put the van out to the right. And here we are, get Sue working, she's working. Um, it's already gone half 12. So we got here at about half past eight and we've just been hanging around. And I mean, there's plenty of room here to park up and we just hung around and eventually a few people left and that's how we managed to grab the spot, which we're super keen to share with you guys over the next two days. I reckon two days here, maybe three, I'm not sure. Oh, it's still overcast, but I do believe the weatherman said whispered in my ear that the weather's supposed to get good over the next couple of days. So who knows, we might even get the tinny in. I can just start to hear the boat coming off. Oh, love's getting the boat down. What's happening, old love? Huh? What's happening? Lee's persuaded me to get the boat off and go for a fish in the morning. All right. So I uh, thought I'd get it off tonight, get everything set up, and then uh, we'll go out early tomorrow morning for a fish out in the bay. What are you going to be targeting? What, what uh, are you... Squid and whiting, I reckon, is the go. This is my favourite part. Oh yeah! Yeah, the boys! Don't you just love it when your homemade boat loader works? You! Well, good morning, guys! Pulled up on the beach, so I dropped my tyres down. And you come onto the beach there, it's pretty soft, just got to give it a little. Well, we've managed to think, or we've managed to find this spot to launch. Just over here. So I'll back it in, we're going to have to walk it past that, uh, looks like there's a bit of like a sandbar there. We'll just walk the boat out, we'll jump on, but um, uh, the wind's supposed to dry, uh, die down today, which is what we're hoping for. Um, and you've just got to be careful, there's a bit of reef around, there's waves breaking, so I've taken note of that. And we'll just stay. Oh, mate, that water looks epic. So I hope we can get some whiting. But we'll chase squid first, and uh, then we'll, we'll take it from there. Let's get this boat in. Well, we're out. Oh, Look, okay. it's, it's nothing to uh, scream and shout about, but we need bait. And Lee has got the first one. So what we're doing is there's the island. You've got to be careful because there's a break happening on that reef over there, which we're keeping an eye on. The sounder, well, we can't get the sounder to work because everything's rusted from Paluby. But anyway, I'll do a bit of maintenance on that another time. And you can just see, I don't know if you can see, guys, but this water is absolutely super clear. I'm guessing we're about six metres of, you know, in, but 
Well, let's keep, we need more bite. Out fish me, Lee. Oh, she's taking oh, a bit of drag. Oh. This is a bit bigger. Better yes, look at him. Look at the size of that guy. We always said the bigger ones are close in, don't we? Yep, don't good. lose him, Lee. Don't, don't lose he's him. Just hooked. He's only just hooked. Get him in. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> look at that! You! <laughs> That's that. We need a few more of those, That's and we got we a tea tonight, that eh? That is a stonker. Oh, great work. We got one here. We found them, Lee. It's not big. Just want to see if one's coming in behind. It's not big, but he's bait size. That's what we want. That's what we want. Don't fall off. Not. Uh, that's bait size. We're on him here. All right, Lee. Nice that's one, mate. How'd we go, Lee? Uh, pretty damn good. Hey, we used two small Man. ones for bait. Look at this Look at thing. This. Look at this thing, man. Off its head. That is massive. Oh, shit. Huge. <laughs> Huge. That's mine, eh? Just pop oh. away. Oh, shit, Lee, we got him water in the boat. All right, well, we're going to get the boat out quick. It's been an absolute spectacular day. Check this water. Beautiful. Well, there it is. How many did you count, Lee? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We used two for bait. The other one's left over here. I don't know what we'll do with that one. But uh, yeah, we're out. It's actually quite a good thing we came in. The wind's starting to pick up just a tickle, but anyway, we've got a lot of squid here to clean. We're just going to clean them here and then we're going to chuck them in. Oh, what's the state of the esky, Lee? Needs a bit of a tub, mate. Oh, that's oh. that's squid fishing for you. But um, yeah, let's clean these squid. I'm starving. I need something cold to drink, and um, I got a beer in there. Maybe we should have a beer, Lee. Hi. Uh, All right, oh, righto. Okay. Well, guys, we had an awesome time here. We've caught some good squid, but it's time to move on. We're wrapping it up here. Now, I know we haven't cooked the squid in this video, but believe me, next week, you'll see us cat cooking up the squid. Lee's gonna show me how he does it. But guys, that's a wrap for this video. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps us uh, grow a little channel and we really appreciate for all those people that have already. But from us, just vanning it. Let's get on the road. Let's get to our next stop. See you next week. See ya.